Well, here we are on my dining room with really bad light, and there's a tank in the background and a dog on the side, so I apologize for the outside noise. But it's the only place that I can lay this out to lay, connect my rows, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to figure out just exactly how to line up a border to attach it to the side. Because my understanding up until now was that these points of these solid triangles needed to be lined up in the middle of these squares. That doesn't work from the standpoint of the beginning because if you line it up with that square, well, it's gonna have this big edge. And so I had to, of course, question myself. So obviously you are gonna line up this corner with this edge to make a straight point. So the corner triangle is gonna come in this way and the left side border point is gonna come in this way. Everything's gonna meet right at that point. Seemed obvious but now, but it, back then it wasn't. So okay, so I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna to try to use the cornerstones as a guide. So I will get to this centering of the points as much as I can to ease it in at the end. So it's really not going to be lined up to the cornerstones, but I kind of want to make it look that way. So by the time I get to the other side, because I've got all this kind of laid out here, I want to make sure that this end is going to be connected at the other end just like this. So I'm going to get to tape in my border to the top row. So as you can see, I'm working on taping my triangles down and I've lined it up here. And then I'm just trying to make sure I you know, get it to the point-ish in the middle. I'm gonna do a few of these and then I'm gonna go to the other side and line it up and start it in the middle. Like everything else we do with the English paper piecing where you start on one side, make sure it's lined up, tie off, go to the other side, make sure it's lined up and then meet in the middle. But what I wanna say about this, this is the top row of my triangles. This is where I started my triangles. This is where I started my blocks. The reason I don't have videos yet for these blocks, and I will, is because they were my very first ones and I'm not happy with them, but I was learning. And so remember this when you go to put this on here, that this is where you started your quilt. It's okay if it's a little you know, off, but you know, you're gonna have to ease some of the stuff in. So I've got, like at each one of these, there's these giant dips. It's okay. It'll work itself in. But we want to make sure that we give it the opportunity to do that. I've got spots where I was trying threads that have now since fallen off. I will I will reset those. I will redo those because I was testing various threads. Was not happy with that one. And so, but what's going to happen is you're going to get to a point where this is going to want to line up past the center of this cornerstone. That's because you are attaching, in a lot of cases, pieced sections to whole sections. And that's where your growth is gonna come in, and you can really see it here. I haven't attached this yet. I'm gonna line this up, but if I flatten this out, it's gonna go way over there. So I'm gonna line this up and tape it down. This is gonna to have to be worked in. And that's gonna be because of all this growth. And the triangle points are the worst growth. So just keep this in mind and your triangles will be fine. Once you get your papers out, they'll relax, and then you can quilt up any poochiness, because I do have poochiness, but just make sure you remember that this is where you started. So it's gonna have some issues that you're gonna see now that you've come back to attach this to your quilt. So I've taped my border pieces, and I'm very carefully moving this, and I've taped them to about number six. I should have gone to about number five, but I don't want to go very far down this way because eventually I'm going to have to put the corners of the triangles more towards that side of the cornerstone. So I'm going to come back to this side and line this up and work backwards into the middle. That way I know that I'm going to be able to line these up right at the end. Because if I don't do this and make it work, because see this is going to fall here, I'm going to try to at least get this triangle to that seam which it should go to. But if it doesn't, just, you know, it's okay. Just work your way in. So I'm gonna work down this way with my tape and then I'll be able to take, this is 
the back of my triangles. I've labeled them and all that fun stuff, but I'll be able to work my way down here. And then when I start stitching, I'm gonna start at one of the ends and we'll work my way back as well. Now this is an interesting issue. Um, I'm taping these up and you'll see that this is a little poochy. I didn't pay attention to the fact that each one of these triangles has these major single not cut pieces on the bottom. There are some that had pieces like these have this one and this one here had seams across the bottom, but these are all single pieces attaching to single pieces. So I'm not going to be able to easily get to the middle of those cornerstones. So I'm going to have to ease in my sashings because the sashings each have seams here and that's the only place I have for take up. So I'm going to gradually bunch that up to get those points, but I'm not going to get there for a bit because they're all solid pieces. This is why you tape it so you can lay it out. So we're going to we're going to get there, but this is on this side, I'm bunching this up on this edge so I can get to fit closer to the center of this. I don't want to force it at the beginning here. I just want to ease it in so it looks natural out to the other side. So now I've got my tape. I've got two triangles left to do that I haven't taped yet. I just want to make sure that where I stopped taping, my point is in the middle-ish here, and then I can line this up here and here. Make sure we don't have any big pouches or pooches to take up from an excess standpoint. So this looks pretty good. So I'm gonna finish taping this section and then I'm gonna stitch it together just like I attach my rows together when I was doing the blocks. Now that I have stitched everything down, I have completed the attachment of my top border to the main section of my blocks.